Hey, you guys, welcome back to another craft with me video. Today, I have a few items for you. As you probably saw in the title of today's video, we are doing a pattern craft with me. So we are going to start with this right here. This is a design that I made in Canva. I actually found the pattern on Creative Fabrica, and then I just put everything together in Canva. This is a printable heat transfer sheet. So I am going to start by getting this weeded out. I wanted to make myself a new shirt since the weather is beginning to break. And of course, I'm a mom, but I said this shirt has to reflect not just the fact that I'm a mom, but also reflect me as, as a person, who I am. And as you can see, there's a microphone and some music notes, and that's because I sing. So we're gonna, this I, you gotta be really careful with because it can definitely rip easily. And of course I don't want to rip it. So I'm going to kind of take my time here. I just started using this particular uh, printable heat transfer vinyl, if you will. Um, I was using one before from Michaels, but this particular brand is from Amazon. It's from Amazon. It was just a brand that I found on Amazon and I thought I would give it a try. All right, so we have it all weeded out. I'm gonna move that out the way. So as you can see, this is very fragile. That is my easy press telling me to hurry up. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring in the shirt that I'm gonna put that on. And this shirt I purchased from Michaels. So I'm gonna get that off. I know there are people who tend to wash their shirts before they, and some, and there are some products actually that tell you to wash it before, but there are some cases where you're not able to do that. Like in the instance of giving someone a gift, um, or if you're someone who sells items, you may not be able to wash it beforehand. So I don't always wash mine beforehand um, and it still works out pretty well. So I am just going to run my lint roller over this to make sure I get all the lint and whatever else might be on this shirt off before we do any uh, pressing. I have, and today, guys, I am using my heat, my easy press. I, you know, usually when I'm doing a, a, a project that requires pressing, especially a shirt, I always opt for my large press. But today I decided, you know what? I have this easy press. Why not use it? I'm gonna give this one more roll. Okay. Now, let's get the design on. Okay. I don't just eyeball. That is not my thing. I have a tendency to want to be precise. <laughs> so I measure 
and a lot of times with adult shirts you can kind of give about it says online if you look it says about three inches from the collar so i tend to do that sometimes um it might be um two inches two and a half inches it just depends on the design honestly but i think for this one i'm gonna go three inches and let's see here that's about that Ooh, pretty good wonderful okay so i'm gonna bring in some parchment paper to cover this so we can protect the design All right, and I have my easy press set for 330 degrees for 90 seconds. So I'm gonna give this some decent amount of pressure. Okay, here's the start button. Listen, y'all, I don't use my <laughs> I don't use my press that off this press that often. So now I'm like, uh, where's the button? Um, this is also a 12 by 10 easy press. So here we go. Okay. Let's see how, how it pressed. The parchment paper is like, I'm ready. <laughs> yes, it did very well. It looks good. So now I can remove this so it can cool down. It looks really good, you guys. Came out nice. I like it. I like it. And of course, it's on navy blue. If you are new here, navy blue is my favorite color. So I had to make sure that this could go on a navy blue shirt and it looks good. I like it. I really do. And of, of course, because it represents me in another light, not just a crafter, but a singer as well. And I've been singing all my life, all since I could remember. So. There we go. Our first craft is done. Now let's move on to the next craft. Okay. So for my next craft, we are going to make some keychains. My daughter has been asking me to make something for her friends. And for a while I was saying, well, what is it that you want? And she sort of kind of had an idea, but not really. Um, of, before I continue with the story, here's our pattern for our second one. I got this uh, vinyl from, from Hobby Lobby, and it is their four or five brand. Um, so I'll, I'll finish the story as I weed. Um, she wasn't 100% percent sure as to what she wanted and her idea of telling me what she wanted was to say um i want something preppy and so our idea of preppy and my daughter's and her friend's idea of preppy is totally different so when she first said that i was like what do you mean and she explained it sort of kind of i was like that doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I don't know what you want. And she's been trying to explain this whole preppy thing to me since she started saying it. And I'm just like, my dear child, I do not know what you're talking about. So anyway, I decided to make something for them. And I'm hoping that they all like it these keychains just is something that they can all have i'm making six of them and the six doesn't even count my daughter so i have to make hers separately but today i'm making 
um, the ones for her friends. Oh no, I think I lost the dot to my eye. I didn't lose it forever. Here it is. That is, I'm glad I didn't ball this piece of vinyl up. Okay. So as you can see, there's a lot to weed here. So I think what I'm going to do is just put on some music for you all as I run through these. Okay, we finally have everything weeded out. These, these little words were a doozy, but we got it done, which is good. Um, I made these little backers for them so you could actually read the, um, the print so i hope that this works out i hope they are dark enough to be able to show what each of them say there's a little film on here that i'm going to remove there's actually some on both sides there's one a piece of film on both sides and we need to remove them so we can get the vinyl on there um i don't think i need to clean this because i'm just pulling off that the film that was on it so i think we're good to go i'm going to get some transfer tape cut and start with this yellow one here So my original plan was to have this on the back like that and then flip it over and put the words on the front. So we're going to, we, we, we're all experimenting right now. Um, I'm going to start with this one. And see how this goes. Maybe I'm. It may work this way, um, or I might need to um, just put it all on the front. We will see. I'm hoping that my original plan works. Okay. So this is the front now. Considered what would be considered the front. I'm gonna get this on here. Oh. No. <laughs> Okay, well, that is not what was supposed to happen because now this G won't be able to stay on like it's off center because one thing about vinyl, it will snatch up your material very quickly. I'm trying to see if I could get it off. Nope, I'm going to have to cut this one again. So let's try this again, shall we? The I, so the idea worked out, at least. At least we know that that should work. But we just need the keychain not to snatch up the vinyl so quickly. I don't want to scratch it. All right. Got that off. Let's try this again. I'll have to remake that one. Okay. Now we're gonna hold on both sides because this the, the back was fine. It was the front that just grabbed it. 
I'll go with this one. This one, if you can't, I don't know if you can read it from on the camera, but it says, believe in yourself. They all have like little sayings on it that I liked and I thought it was something that would be nice to put on there. All right, I'm holding both sides. We're gonna be kind and not snatch. This is, yes, okay, much better. This one came out really nicely. All right, let's do the other ones. Okay, I am now on the very last keychain and I'm going to put this last saying on. Which simply says, follow your dreams. And I do see that a middle got left in there so as soon as i get this down i'm gonna get it off take that out of there i left a middle in on this o there we go this one says follow your dreams this one says be creative believe in yourself Always stay positive. Wonderfully made. And the one that I'm going to have to redo, you are amazing. So I will redo this one. And on camera, I'm only going to add one of these because I'm sure this will take some time. I will link these down below. I got these from Amazon just in case you decide to get them. So this was our second craft. I really hope that my daughter and her friends love the keychains that they will all have that just are a little different. Okay, I definitely need to clean up here and then we'll move on to our last craft. Okay, so our last craft. Here's our pattern. We have that um, black and white buffalo checkered. I believe that is the name of this pattern. And we're going to put it on this box. So I thought of this as a gift, as a gift idea. So if you wanted to decorate a box for a gift, you could do something like this obviously it doesn't have to be exactly the same you choose what design best works for you and the person you are giving it to of course um but i did purchase this box from michael's and i think i got all those Yep, that's it for this one. And just going to, this one actually has um, 
two words on it because it's going to go at the the top of the box and these i just want to put randomly around the sides of the box so we're going to start with this one and i'm going to use my paper transfer tape just because this is cardboard and a lot of times i am concerned about my regular transfer tape possibly ripping the cardboard so i prefer to use my paper transfer tape since i already have it i know that this can be difficult to see through um sometimes some people don't care for the the paper transfer tape because it's harder to see through and i will admit that yes it is not as easy um as it is with the clear transfer tape but i don't mind taking a little extra time with it to be sure that my box or whatever type of paper material i am putting the vinyl on won't be destroyed because of the transfer tape and i've had don't get me wrong i've had success before with using regular transfer paper on but just so i am safe and not sorry i prefer to go with this and mainly and this also has a lower tack than the traditional transfer tape and listen i put i bought this so why not use it <laughs> okay let me get this weeded out because again the tack on this isn't as sticky so it sometimes needs a little extra help sorry for all the noise okay got it off i'm actually going to remove the lid from the box so it's easier to see and work with okay all right that looks good so i'm gonna go ahead and scrape that down All right, that should be good. Let's see. Yes, it is. I like it. I like it. Now, one thing I, I see that I would have done differently, I, instead of writing the words in this same vinyl, now that i see it i would have written cut excuse me i would have cut out the words in all black and then just have the just have the pattern vinyl around the all black so i might do that if this is easy to remove i just might do that what i'm going to do with these I am going to turn the box on its side and I'm just going to take these off like stickers and just randomly place them around the box. Guys, I sped this part up because this is not turning out the way I had hoped or the way I saw it in my head. Quite honestly, I don't like it at all but with crafting comes trial and error so here are my errors <laughs> so here is our box i'm only going to show you all the top because i'm not excited about the sides <laughs> but yes here's an idea that you can do for gift giving because we know birthdays always come around mother's day is coming father's day is coming all these different holidays are coming to give people gifts so 
here's a gift idea. Okay, you guys, I'm popping back in here because as you can see, I removed for you from the middle. I, I'm just going to be 100% honest with you guys. I did not like it and I just couldn't, I couldn't let it sit with me. I looked at it and I just said, mm -mm, nope, it is not going to work for me. <laughs> so I went and cut out for you in all black and I'm going to put that on. So I'm hoping that this will be, uh, this will look better. I hope that this is the fix to the issue for me. I just felt like it wasn't, you would, you couldn't read it well enough and it was just too busy, too much going on, um, in that area, especially because all of this has the pattern going on there. I felt like the for you definitely needed, um, to be solid so you can actually see it. And your eyes could focus a little better. I felt like my eyes were just like playing a whole bunch of tricks on me. Okay, so let's see if we can get this properly centered. So let's see. All right, now let's see what this looks like. Oh, so much so much better so much better and all now mind you this is a this is more of a matte black and this is shiny but i think it really works because like i said this pops up against all the circles there so there we go y'all have to give me your feedback in the comments comparing this to the previous okay so now we're gonna bring in all of our crafts for today okay so we have all our crafts back on the table i absolutely love my mom singing mom <laughs> shirt um and i really think and hope that the girls will like the keychains i went ahead and put the the chain and the tassels on before bringing them back on camera and they look so cute so of course i'm going to fix that one and make one for my daughter so she it, she has one as well as them and i really feel like this was the fix guys that this came out so much better um i will say i still don't like the random circles that i put around the box but again this is just ideas so i hope that this gave you an idea of how to decorate a box that you might be giving someone um with their gift inside i thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little while as i crafted to get some of the things i needed to get done and give you some pattern ideas i hope you enjoyed it thanks so much for sticking around until the end. Oh, and don't forget, down in the comments, put the crafts in the order that you like them. You know our game, rate that craft. So you just put it in, in the comments from the one you like the most to the least. And since we only have three crafts here today, it makes it a lot easier to, to put them in order. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss another video of mine. And I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.